It's called Wild Rabbit Farms. How did it get its name? <laughs> the workers, because we constantly fought rabbits. But just one look at the place, and you wouldn't think so. This thriving garden. Squash, cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers, okra, peas, beans, kale, and lettuce and cabbage, and beets and turnips. Belongs to Marisa Sheaf. She'd be the first to tell you, though, she didn't do it alone. Before Josh came to work here, it was very small scale, but I wanted a big garden. I wanted to do big things. And then in came Josh, and here we go. It used to be a pretty bare field out here. Um, a lot of the beds weren't here. The trellis wasn't here. Um, and after a year and a half and a lot of hard work, we got this. Josh Mulligan is now the manager at Wild Rabbit Farms. He says it's a lot of work to maintain, and that's where the team comes in, which includes Caitlin Sheik. She's 23 and one of two adults with autism hired by Marisa to help out. We hoe. We get rid of all the bad weeds. Caitlin's worked at the farm for nearly a year. My favorite thing about it is it's not in a little office cubicle. I like that it's outdoors. And she, along with Cade Todd, have made a huge impact. Without them, it wouldn't be near what it is. Couldn't do it without Cade and Caitlin. I'd say they're an integral part to what we do out here. In late July, the crew was lended a helping hand with its harvest. More young adults with autism, enrolled in the Transition Academy at Texas Tech's Burkhart Center, joined Cade and Caitlin to pick veggies. I'd say we have close to 1,500 pounds, maybe 2,000. They then set up a stand, selling off the huge haul to the public. And the money made, Marisa made sure went back to the Burkhart Center. It's a cause close to home and to her heart. My son Alex, who has autism, has been to the camps and, and been involved in various ways. For Texas Tech Today, I know that it's money well spent on, on good, good people. I'm Allison Hurth.